Hi everyone, Mixed Media Girl here, and today is a very special day. It is my five year YouTube anniversary. So this is pretty insane for me, and it's been quite the ride and the journey, and I just wanted to say thank you to all of you who have been here, whether you've been here for five minutes or whether you've been here for the full five years, I appreciate you and I just wanna say thank you. I've got a bit of a special video planned for you guys today. In celebration of the five years, I'm going to be doing five different acrylic pour techniques on five canvases. And also, I'm doing a special giveaway. So please check for that in the description. There will be a link there with all the info. And I hope you guys enjoy the video. I am going to use the same colors for all of the techniques. So we're going to be having a marble pour, a split cup traveling tree ring, we're going to do a bottle bottom, we're going to do a hair dryer pour, and we're going to do a funnel pour. I'm using mixed media girl pouring paints for all of these, and we're going to have a ton of fun. So let's get started with the celebration. I'm going to be starting off with the hair dryer pour because I feel like it's going to probably splatter some of these other canvases and that's okay. I'm gonna be putting just white on this side to start off with and I will blow that around and then add my colors. This is a Remington hairdryer and I use it on cold with high air here. So I've got that covered with a base coat of white and now I'm gonna go in here with my colors I'm using some turquoise, and I'll probably use a little bit less color on this than on some of the other canvases because you can only fit so many colors in there. Next, I'm gonna add some gold, then some Pacific blue, and some electric pink, and the pink with that blue should give us a nice purple. Then we've got Malibu Sky and a little bit of Caribbean Teal. I'm going to add some more white over here. Now I think we're ready. I'm going to use this on low air, no heat. Now I want to blow it out a little bit more, so I'm putting it up to high air. Alright, that is just tons of fun. I love it. So let's scooch this aside just a little bit and go on to the next technique. Now over here, I'm going to be doing a traveling tree ring. So I will be filling up this cup. This is a three compartment split cup and I'm using the same colors. I'm gonna put white in two compartments because I want quite a bit of white. And I'm gonna be adding turquoise, some gold, some Pacific blue, Electric Pink, Malibu Sky, and Caribbean Teal. All right, I've got my cup nice and filled up, so I'm gonna start over here, and we're going to just tree ring this. I may end up going back through it, but we'll see how I feel when I get over to the end here. I'm liking that dark to light progression, so I'm going to keep that. I'm gonna add a little more white down here just to make sure we have enough paint. Now we tilt. Okay, 
Okay, that is a pretty wild piece. It is a lot of fun and I love it. Let's go on to our next technique. I'm going to fill up my cup here with enough paint. This is just a little eight by 10 canvas and same colors for this technique as well. Okay, I've got my paint and I'm going to just pour over this little bottle bottom. This is the smallest one in a set of three that I sell. This one's only two inches. It's a lot of fun. It's good for small canvases, uh, but more than that, it gives you the smallest lines as you pour. When you're done pouring, just pull the bottle bottom off, set it to the side. And I like to take a stick and go through the kind of petals here. It's not required, it's just what I think looks best. And now we're gonna tilt. This technique looks fantastic on a spinner, but it also is super fun to tilt it. I'm gonna just run off some of the paint over here onto this canvas. Go oh, look at that. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. All right, for our next one, we are going to be doing a funnel pour. For the funnel pour, I'm going to start off with a little puddle of white paint here, and I'm going to be pressing the funnel down into that. It's very important at this stage you make sure all of your colors are ready to go, all of your bottles are open, and then we're going to fill up our funnel. The same colors as the other techniques. We've got turquoise, we've got gold, we've got some Pacific blue, some electric pink, Malibu sky, and some Caribbean teal. Now this is a pretty small canvas, so we don't need a lot of paint, plus we have that white base. I'm gonna just start to pull up slowly, releasing the paint underneath that white base. And I'm just pulling up a little bit at a time. You can do this in a spiral. You can do it all kinds of different ways. For this one, I am gonna torch. We can pop some of those air bubbles and hopefully bring up some more cell action. And now we tilt. This is also a really fun one to do on a spinner. There we have a funnel pour. For our last technique, we are going to be doing a marble pour. So I'm gonna use the same paint cup that I used earlier and I'm just gonna to continue to fill it up with the same colors that we've been using. We do already have a little bit of paint on the canvas, which should help. This is also a 10 by 20 canvas, so we need a little bit more paint. Got my cup filled up here. So I'm going to do this with the marble starting on the canvas and I'm going to pour over that. And I like to kind of do a bit of a tree ring over it. So this essentially ends up being sort of a wreck ring technique. You can also put the marble in your cup and do a flip cup, it's another option. Now we're going to tilt and the goal is to keep that marble on the canvas. And the marble is going to be creating some awesome designs and it's going to pull the colors into each other. Oh, <laughs> if the marble falls off, 
just go ahead and put it right back on. It happens. And you can do this as much or as little as you want. It's totally up to you. You also do not have to keep it on there the entire time. If you're more or less happy with the design, you can run it off and then just finish tilting your canvas. I think I'm pretty happy with this and I'm gonna just tilt the canvas at this point. I am in love with that. Might be my favorite of this entire set. <laughs> All right, there you guys have it. Five canvases, five techniques. Let's bring you in for a close up. Let's start off with our hair dryer pour over here. We've got some beautiful cells and reactions in this. Love the colors, pretty wild. You can absolutely blow this out more if you'd like but I like to have a decent amount of negative space on here for some odd reason. <laughs> All right, then we have our traveling tree ring. This is pretty psychedelic and very, very fun. You could always wreck this if you want also. You could go back through your tree ring with another one and create kind of a tornado. Totally up to you. Then we have our funnel pour over here. Got nice cells coming up through there with those metallics, plus some really kind of cool lacing in here as well. Then we have our bottle bottom pour. You can see these gorgeous little lines that come from that bottle bottom. Super fun. Not quite as much pink in this one, but I'm still in love with it. And lastly, the marble pour, which I think is just perfection. For my style, this one is my favorite. I really like it. There you guys have it. Five acrylic pour techniques on five different canvases. I really hope that you guys enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. And thank you for all of the support over the last five years. Here is to another fantastic year on YouTube. I'll see you all next time.